Hey, how you doing? Sean McGough here. I was going to make a video yesterday and um, another video. And it's funny, I, I was joking with somebody a while back that I don't... I talk to God, he talks to me, I don't care what you say, you call me crazy, I'm in touch. You can say I'm in touch with my deep subconscious, whatever you want to call it. Go back and watch the other book. It's a long story. Anyway, I was on the internet and I was congratulating a friend of mine. He coached our old high school this Super Bowl and I was so, I've been proud of him since he got the, ah, he was a dumbass like me, but he got into college and did everything right. And his dad was a tough guy and pushed him and we were both dumbasses. And I remember his dad so much because when I talk about guardian angels, my uncle was a tough, not tough, he was young, he got screwed. That's the bottom line. But he had me and my mom, and she was crazy as hell. It's a long story. We'll talk about that another time. And she talked to God the same way I do. She swore I got the swear of him. I hear Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know what the hell that's all about, but that's the way I hear it. <laughs> I think it's funny. I could have changed it. No. Anyway, I know that's nuts. That's crazy. Go ahead. Anyway, he knows I'm nuts. I've been nuts since high school. I just didn't know God was trying to talk to me all the way. It's a long story. I call myself a guardian angel. You got to follow along. This stuff takes a lot of time. Anyway, to make a long story short, I'm on the interwebs. <laughs> um, I can tape when I say that stuff. The Instagram. I just make stuff up, put them all together, mash them up. And like, it's, Dad, what the hell are you talking about? You're so stupid. Uh, kids. Anyway, I see these a video now. Shut up. They're yelling, shut up to their mother. I don't know if my kid filmed me, but she did that. I didn't. Who the hell are you talking to? Even though my wife hates me right now. That's a long story, too. You find God, and some people just don't want to talk to you. <laughs> that's not why, but that's funny. Anyway, and it's true. Anyway, where the hell was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So I'm on the interwebs, and I'm talking to my friend. And I'll be damned. All of a sudden, I got a flash of energy, a flash of... I don't know what it was. And I don't want to say it's a vision, because it's probably my memory of his father. But he was standing there just proud as hell with his arms crossed and this big shit-eating grin right as I was typing. And that could be my subconscious. I'm not... Man, it's crazy to me, too. But I feel energy around me. And I texted him. I said, this is... and I started to write it all. And I said, oh, that's a long story. I said, this is going to sound crazy. I know your dad is proud of you. I, I, I'm telling you, I felt this. That... Anyway, this stuff happens all the time. And it was weird. And... And there's little part. Of, there's other things that just happen around me that it's it's strange. Anyway, long story short, I'll get into that. Oh, there was a guy with his little car. Oh, that's a whole different story. I don't have enough time for that. I also love conspiracy theories, and I love looking forward and looking ahead. And lots of us see things. We're all seeing these movies coming alive. We're all seeing all these books, 1984. Every Sylvester Stallone movie is basically waking up, if you're paying attention. All the underground people, all this other... Goddamn guy was talking about Star Wars just on one of the radio shows I was listening to, YouTube's, talking about how Star Wars is going to save the planet because this is exactly the way it goes with this certain movie, the one with Jar Jar Binks, who still reminds me of Whoopi Goldberg. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm just saying I hate her. She's a racist. Anyway, just because you dated Ted Dinge and you put him in blackface and then made that awful skit, oh, boy, would I cringe every time. Oh, you, you, you're an awful person. Anyway, that being said, my conspiracy theory, Jack Dorsey just stepped down from Twitter. Let's see if uh, the other guy, Zucky, steps down. And the other people, some of the people who are on the top of these corporations, these uh, major media corporations, yeah, the top ones, CNN and all of them. Let's see how many of them step down. It all seems to be happening right when... This Jiz, Jiz Lane, that's what she's a Jiz Lane. Jiz Lane Maxwell case. How much dirt is out there that they said, you know what? We can keep you out of this and put you in this. All of a sudden, there's a new judge. Check out the judge in this case. An Obama appointee with ties to go back to the Clintons. Yeah, you think you're going to have anything come up about Bill? Even though we know the flight logs and all that other stuff. Go watch Crowder. Go watch some of these other guys. Go watch... Uh, who's a Mark Levine? Go, they've all done the flight logs and all that. I don't make. I'm not making this stuff up. That's my conspiracy theory. And you know who's going to move in? The government. Watch when the government says, "Well, you know, right now, we feel some government regulation because the flow of information we feel isn't 
being honest because anything that goes against the narrative isn't honest. They hate Newsmax. They hate Blaze TV. I love Blaze TV. Go on back up time. There's some great jokes and they go look at you won't like my language. Oh, horrible. I keep, I keep, well, sooner or later he's going to see these videos and go, this guy just won't give up. My true goal, honestly, Glenn, I hope you do look these people up because it, it was pretty funny stuff. And it's, I'm telling you, it's not my joke. It's a collaboration. I didn't know what that was. Somebody else told me. Anyway, where the hell was I going with this? Here's what I was going to say. Government, and this goes with Glenn Beck's videos and he's been talking about for years. It goes all the way back with Rush. Rush had been warning goes back to reagan go watch reagan everybody's bringing up reagan i love i love reagan um, i think i got to vote for him once i forget anyway i go i was voting when in school i was the only republican in like fourth grade you know they do the little vote we used to do civics in school and you used to vote and the teacher said why would you vote for this and i had the answer i had why taxes and this and that and <laughs> this well that's Taxes are good because they help pay for the schools. I said, taxes are bad because they take away from my food. The teacher didn't like that much. Anyway, I'm just saying, we used to teach civics in school. More of my number one goal. I had two goals. I talked about that before. My first one got blown out of the water. My second goal, Thomas Sowell in all our schools. Please, people, just go look this man up. I'm not saying he's perfect, all right? He made mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. I joke with God. I said, you make some mistakes, buddy. And he says, you know, you know you're know, you going to hell. I, that's the way we joke. That's in my head. I know that. That's, a, But I'm telling you this shit I see. Uh, I see around me that in the, the coincidences I don't believe anymore. I see the news. I see these things. And I'm pointing this out. Dorsey stepped down. There we're back to my topic. He helps me out. He says, you got to get to work. It's 1049. I got to leave in one minute. Anyway, he helps me out, straightens me up. The voice in the back of my head said, will you get back on topic, you stupid mother effer? That's how God talks to me in my head, all right? You got to follow along. I wanted to do back and forth, and you could hear the conversation, but then I said, that's a lot of swearing, and that's, that's not right. I'm trying not to swear. I'm changing my ways. God willing. Man, it's a work in progress. Anyway, where the hell was I? Oh, yeah. The... We not the guy in the Supreme Court. What the hell's his name? I forget. There's rumors that he was at on the Lolita Express there, and he went to. Uh, we've had some pretty questionable calls, haven't we? And when it comes to packing the Supreme Court, when it comes time that these people can actually do something and stop this, maybe, and uh, I'm, I don't know how deep the corruption within our government goes on both sides. It's scary to me. I listened to the John Batchelor show a while back. He had on a guest who was in the Senate years ago. He worked his way up, and he was talking about how the Chinese CCP government was working, infiltrating way back then, even into some of the local governments. They would have parties. They would bring people overseas. They would get them drunk. They would, you know, they would especially go after young married people, and they would get pictures with other with prostitutes, and then they can use that against them. This isn't new. They just perfected it. And we just have people that are so afraid of exposing their own personal lives that they're willing to let this country die. They don't believe in this socialist, communist bullshit. I don't believe they do. I believe there's so much dirt on them. A lot of these congressmen, a lot of these, some of these senators, a lot of these senators on both sides. This is my belief. There's dirt on them. And they're willing to let the country burn instead of exposing the BS that's going on. That's my conspiracy theory. You run with it if you like. But I think a lot of these top CEOs, you're going to see them stepping down all right. And you're going to see government, somebody who's somehow involved with the government or has a... It's not going to be better. It's going to be worse. Censorship is going to get worse. They're trying to silence any ulterior narrative. Go back and watch all the films before they scratch them all off of YouTube of January 6th. Come on, really? The freaking shaman guy, Q and all of that. Q was cute and it was funny. And there's a couple million people that believe that BS. It was hilarious. You listen to it. All they did was took everything off of C-SPAN, took some truth from Congress, took some truth from what they watched, spun a story around it, 
and people believed it. Well, you know what? You're allowed to believe hoaxes and bullshit. You really shouldn't, but there's so much going on on the left. The whole narrative. Go back and watch all the Russiagate, all this stuff. Go back, please, follow judicial watch. All this stuff was coming out a long time ago. They're digging. But the press won't put it out there. I just want an honest election. You know, oh, I got, I got to get to work. The voice in my head saying, hey, the mother ever. The, oh, man, I got to get going. Anyway, love you, America. Day two, book two. Chapter two, maybe toilet listening to. I don't know. I hope I entertain you. I hope you make you think. Keep your eyes open. Watch these people at the top. Watch the elites. Watch these. You better contact your congressman. You better look at your Senate. You better you better push these people. And if you're a Democrat and you're still agreeing with Joe Biden, please go follow Glenn Beck. Go just check out Crowder. You don't have to like the guy. I think he's funny as hell. But the, all the receipts are there, stories, information that CNN and all these lying liberal communist networks aren't showing you. I'm way past where I wanted to be. I got to get my ass running. See, God fat shames me. I got to run now. That's the way things work. It's a long joke. That's an old one, but I still think it's funny. And he's swearing up a storm. So I got to go. Am I crazy? Yes, I am. Do I believe I talk with God? Yes, I do. Am I giving up my faith? Heck to the no. Stand up, people. I don't care what race you are. I don't care what religion you are. If you believe in God and Adam and Eve and you believe man and woman, and I'm not going against you the transgenders and all whatnot. Do what the hell you want to do. I hope you'll do it as I, I said. Uh, you know, I ask a lot of questions. I ask questions of God. He swears me. He's telling me, not. oh man, this is going off. I love you guys too. That's all I want to say. I don't agree with you, but that's me. I don't have to. All right, that's America. I don't have to, but I have to respect you. That's what you don't understand. All right? If somebody's beating your ass up, I'm not going to let it happen. If I see you, I'm like, oh, Jesus. Well, that, that, no, nah, I'm not even going to go. That's, so I got a lot of funny stuff, but I'll offend everybody before I get to my point. I'm way past where I wanted to be. I got to go jog now, okay? How sad is that? <sighs> anyway, that's my life. God love you. God bless America. This is the 29th. We're almost into Christmas. I see a lot of lights going up. It makes me happy. <laughs> anyway, I had a bunch of jokes. I got to go. Have a good night, America.